Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Coocher here, and I am just a wee bit brown right now because... Well, I just played for three hours on Portal 2, and I I, I was capturing some other stuff earlier that didn't I didn't really need my voice for, so I'd unchecked the record voice box on Fraps. And I uh, kind of forgot to recheck that, so uh, yeah, I just recorded three hours of Portal and almost finished the game, pretty much. And uh, yeah, I didn't record my voice through the entire thing, so I have to start all over again. Yay! <laughs> uh, luckily, though, this for these, uh, I got to chapter seven. So, up until chapter 7, I'm going to be blazing through this, because I kind of know what to, what to do everywhere. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal Yay. regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Yay. You will hear a I've never seen this buzzer, before. Look up at the ceiling. I don't want to. I'm gonna look down. Okay, look, let's see how fast we can get through buzzer. this. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. This is gonna be like a speed run, the first yeah. ever speed this run for Portal 2. Of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. MLG! There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand see it. in front of it. I don't see it. <laughs> you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. I'm staring, I'm staring. MLG staring contest! <laughs> You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. Nice! The staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance. Reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Okay. Now please return to your bed. I'll take it. So now we're going to a, into a deep sleep. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine... Nine, 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 Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you... Go... Ah! Ah! Oh, God, you look... Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How, hey, you? Wheatley. Oh, I know you. That. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. <laughs> it's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. Okay. I'll take it. I know exactly what's going to happen anyway. Because I've played this already. <laughs> you alright down there? Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Hello? Yeah, look, those are some nasty stains. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months. Oh, <gasps> really? Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? my favorite uh, although lines. If you, do, if you do feel alarmed, <clears throat> try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to might being told that serious... you've got brain damage. I mean... Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does <gasps> any of this make any sense? Yeah, yeah, just did. tell me, just say yes. Yeah! Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind, say apple. Apple. <gasps> Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Okay. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Yay, reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? <clears throat> you still holding on? Mm-hmm. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a that bit would tricky. include me, so AKA I've been course, asleep for a long time. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Yeah. Right, close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? But I love space. <laughs> uh, just, just gotta get through here. <laughs> I, I just got <laughs> Oh, this guy's awesome. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Yep. There goes somebody that's sleeping. 
OK, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? <clears throat> if anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, pretty much. almost there. On the uh. other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Yay. Breaking in. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. <laughs> Him and his manual overrides. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. I don't know what he's talking about? The portal gun. <sighs> MLG. Good luck. MLG. Hello. And again, I recognize this place. Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. <laughs> the portal will open and emergency three, testing will begin two, in three, one, two, one. Cats. Uh, this is all too familiar. Okay, so pretty much what's going on is your shell again, and you just woke up from a deep sleep by uh, Wheatley. And testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. And uh, if you and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You can just pass through an aperture. You shut up! I'm trying to explain to people. Which vaporizes most aperture science equipment that touches. Okay. Is he, is, he is he shutting up now? Okay, so pretty much your shell, you wake up and you're in the same place that Portal 1 took place in, but it's like hundreds of years in the future. Probably not that long, but it's pretty far. So, uh, we'll just see what happens. We're going to do a pretty quick playthrough. Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tackles. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Yeah, yeah. You're not MLG style. I don't even know what that guy's name is. He's just some random AI or DI that's uh, guiding us through. Because uh, our good old friend GLaDOS is not a cat anymore. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. No. <laughs> How did they find Aperture Science creatures then, huh? They're all dead. Or all disarray or in disarray if the earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king sending mm -hmm. a cloud or other governing body that either refuses <laughs> to or is incapable of listening to it oh well that's you know good to know wonder if there's some kind of animal thing out there like a gorilla hey you made it there should be a, a portal device on that podium over there huh I can't see it though maybe it fell off do you want to go and have a quick look? Yeah, I have a, I, I have a feeling I know what's going to happen. Oh. Woohoo! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Maybe. Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should ask that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm still waiting for you up ahead. I'll, I'll wait, take. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. <laughs> oh, Wheatley. See you in an hour, Such a grand young fella. Yeah, we'll meet up with him again. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. To share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. 
A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Yeah, 50 years later. What kind of sick organization is this Aperture Science? Man. Oh man, this is gonna be so quick. It'll be like the Portal 1. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, three two, two, one. Oh yeah, Kenny G, that's what it sounds like. Oh no, I like the jazz. Look at this, they just have a, have a couple like Portal 1 maps here. To get you like reminiscing, be like, oh hey, look, they've it's the same stuff, but they kind of like changed it around so that uh, for new test subjects and later dates and such, it all makes sense once you think about it. Great work, because it's because in the this future. Is pre -recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> wow, jerks. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get going. I can beat my time just slightly here. It doesn't really, it's not really hard the first half of the game. It's just, it gets hard later on when you start bringing nothing, new stuff into account. You're first learning it. If the it gets quite challenging. Bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Um. Oh. Forgot about that. Uh. I think this one's kind of fun. Okay, so what you do is, uh. Here and we go up here. It's, it's. Hey, hey, hey. MLG, MLG. This is gonna be like the most. This is gonna be like the quickest playthrough ever because I already played. Well done. Until we the get to chapter seven, where I stopped. You are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of <laughs> as few as 1.1 volts. Hmm. Yeah, I have to say, though, because, I mean, I've been playing through this. is such a fun game, and it's funny, too. It's, it's just full of comedy left and right. It's awesome. So get ready to hear a lot of it. I'll shut up, because I know where the funny this parts are. applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future... God help you. <laughs> oh, I love that line too. It's funny. Look at that. You can see outside. We're so close. Okay, so we got this. 